Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Anna Marina from Bellissimo Plastic Surgery and Medispa. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I wanted to address the different styles of implants. We've had some patients uh, calling and, and asking questions about how we choose the implants, the, the profiles and the sizes. Uh, if a patient's talking to friends for recommendations and they're looking on websites for pre and post photos, and personally, I don't like uh, when patients do that. I don't think it gives them a very good sense of what would work for them. You know, you're looking at a photograph, it's a two-dimensional, smaller version of a human, and you don't really get a good feel for the projection of an implant, uh, that person's body habitus, how tall they are, how much they weigh. And so you really have to come in and look at uh, different profiles with the surgeon. I like to do this personally with a patient. When I examine them, we talk about the dimensions of their breast, do they have a round profile? Do they have more of a conical shape? Is there a tubular deformity? And so we have to take all of that into consideration. Um, there are multiple styles of implants. Um, saline and silicone are the two uh, big uh, fills that you can use. But as you can see with these implants, these are exact same volumes of implants. One is flatter and wider. This is the classic moderate plus style. This is a little bit more projected, a little bit more narrow. This is the classic high profile. And then the newer, uh, higher filled or SRX uh, version. And so as you can see with this one, it has more projection and is slightly less uh, uh, diameter than the one next to it. So these all, all of these sizes and shapes give a surgeon opportunities to match what we feel would be best for that lady and her body habitus. So personally, I only use this one once in a while. I don't think it fits most women. Most women today want a balanced breast where the top of the breast and the bottom of the breast are in good balance to one another. So this breast implant over time usually makes it a breast look wider and flatter. Um, I don't want to have a lot of fullness along the side of the breast. The, for me, the breast implant or the breast tissue should not be extending towards the armpit. You should have a nice curve along the side of the breast. This implant is a good choice for that, but it's a little bit heavier. So if I have somebody who might be a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker body habitus, this might be a good choice for her. But most of the ladies, personally, I like this one uh, because it keeps the breast looking a little more narrow. It gives you good fullness top to bottom gives you good projection and keeps the width of the breast within the confines of the woman's breast diameter. And so that's a very aesthetic and a, and a very youthful look. So you have all of these choices, but that's what you need to discuss with your surgeon, whether they want to use silicone or saline. Um, in America, we have only the saline, or the, I'm sorry, only the smooth implants to choose from. So any of these can fit, but I don't think you can choose it just from looking at a photograph.